नमस्ते महामाये श्री पीठे सुर पूजिते शंख चक्र गदा हस्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते नमस्ते गरुडारूढ़े कोलासुर भयंकरी सर्व पाप हरि देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते सर्वज्ञे सर्व वरदे सर्व दुष्ट भयंकरी सर्व दुख हरे देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते सिद्धि बुद्धि प्रदे देवी गुप्ति मुक्ति प्रदायिनी मंत्र मूर्ते सदा देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते आद्यंतरहिते देवी आद्य शक्ति महेश्वरी योग जे योग संभूते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते स्थूल सूक्ष्म महारौत्रे महाशक्ति महोदरे महापाप हरे देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते पद्मासन स्थिते देवी पर ब्रह्म स्वरूपिणी परमेशी जगन्मात महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते श्वेतांबर धरे देवी नानालंकार भूषिते जगत स्थिते जगन्मात महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते महालक्ष्मक स्त्रोत्र पठे भक्ति मिद्धिमोति राज्य प्राप्नोति सर्वदा एक कालम पठे नित्यम महापाप विनाशन द्विकालम यठे नित्यम धन धान्य समन्विता त्रिकालम यठे नित्यम महाशत्रु विनाशन महालक्ष्मीर्भवे नित्यम प्रसन्ना वरदा शुभा साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देव्यै नमो नमः जय श्री माता जी एवरीवन वेलकम एवरीवन इन मॉर्निंग सहज योगा एडलेट कलेक्टिव लेट्स सीक परमिशन टू श्री माता जी request shri mata ji and ask permission to shri mata ji shri mata ji please give us permission to do today's mantra meditation request shri mata the please come in our heart but the please us to bless your lotus feet in my heart and let me worship your lotus feet in my heart
Let's bow down to Shimataji's lotus feet, raise Kundalini and put a bandhan on. We request you, Mother, Mother, please take us to complete thoughtless awareness. Mother, please take us to complete doubtless awareness and connect us to all pervading power. Take us to the Virat state. Please give us complete oneness, the Ananya Bhakti, like Sri Hanuman. Mother, please come in my brain. Mother, please come in my thought. Please enlighten my brain, enlighten my thoughts. Here we say Shri Kalki Mantra once. Oh, Rami the Sakshat, Shri Kalki Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo. Attention on Muladhara. Shri Mataji, verily you are Shri Ganesha within us. Please come in Amuladhara and enlighten Amuladhara. Shri Ganesha Mantra. Om Tvame Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namah. Left hand towards mother and right hand to the ground. We say Shri Nirmal Ganesh Mantra. Oh, Ame the Sakshat Shri Nirmal Ganesh Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namaha The, by your grace, I am innocent.
both hands towards mother and we say shri ganesh gauri mantra o tvameev sakshat shri ganesh gauri sakshat shri adi shakti mata ji shri nirmala devyai namo Mother, please make me innocent. Right hand towards mother and left hand on ground. Shri Kartike Mantra Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Kartike Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Deve Namo Mother, please make me worthy of your love, of your attention. Mother, please make me worthy of you. Here we say Sarva Raksha Santri Mantri once. O Tameva Sakshat Sarva Raksha Santri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devye Namo Namaha Shimata Ji, please destroy all the negativity within us. And grant us, all of us, self-realization, conscious awareness, give us complete thoughtlessness. And pure heart.
that's very effective. Today is the eighth day of the Devi Puja. And on this day, the power of Kali acts, and she is the one called as Samhara Kali, meaning the one who uh, destroys all the evil forces. So it is a very good day that we have a puja here in England. I'm very happy about it. The word Kalaki actually is an abbreviation of the word Nishkalang. Nishkalang means the same as my name is, which means Nirmala. That then it is a spotlessly clean. Something that is spotlessly clean is Nishkalang without any spots on. Now this incarnation has been described in many Puranas. Will be coming on this earth on a white house. In a village of Sambalpur, they call it. Sambhalpur. It's very interesting how people take everything so literally. The word Sambhal means, Bhala is his forehead. Sambhal means at that stage. That means Palaki is situated on your Bhal. Bhal is the forehead. And here he is going to be born. That is the real meaning of the word Sambhal. In between Jesus Christ and his destroying incarnation of Mahavishnu, called as Kalaki, there is a time given to human beings to rectify themselves, for them to enter into the kingdom of God, which in the Bible is called as last judgment. That you will be just, all of you will be just on this earth. The population of the world is the maximum, they say. Because all those, practically all those who had aspirations to enter into the kingdom of God are born in the modern times and are going to be born very soon. This is the most important time because Sahaja Yoga is the last judgment. It is fantastic to hear this, but that's a fact and it's the truth. Though you can understand that mother's love makes it very easy for you to get to your realization and that the whole story of last judgment, which looks such a horrifying experience, has been made very beautiful and very tender and delicate and doesn't disturb you. But this is the last judgment, I tell you. And you all are going to be judged through Sahaja Yoga whether you can enter into the kingdom of God or not. I have to warn all the Sahaja Yogis who are here because Sahaja Yoga is the last judgment. Not only that you will be judged that you are entering into the kingdom of God, that you become the citizens of God is correct. But apart from that, that you are capable of being there. Whether you have the complete surrendering and understanding of divine laws. Even if you are belonging to, say, India and a citizen of India, but if you do mistakes and if you commit criminal laws, you'll be punished even then. So even if you become the citizen of God, you have to be very, very careful about it. The second thing I would like to tell you is about the destroying powers of color. Today's lecture is going to be very sharp for you because the incarnation that you have asked me to speak on is a very sharp one. It's the sharpest of all. We had, say, Krishna's incarnation when he had Hanana Shakti. He has killed Kamsa, he has killed uh, so many Rakshasas, you know, as child also, he has killed Putana and so many people. But he had Leela also. 
he had love and he did give concessions to people. He forgave people also. But Christ, who is the embodiment of forgiveness, forgiveness of Christ is nothing but is the power of sustenance within him. If he explodes, the whole forgiveness can come on us as a big disaster if we are not able to understand the value of his forgiveness. He has said very clearly that anything said against me will be tolerated. But a word against Holy Ghost won't be tolerated. He has clearly said it. And now you have to understand that. Holy Ghost is Adi Shakti. One has to understand that such an incarnation is imminent. And Krishna's powers are given to him which are only Hanana Shakti. Brahma Deva's powers, which are only Hanana Shakti, are given to him. Shiva's powers, which are just Hanana Shakti, the part of it which is a Tandava, is given to him. Then Bhairava's Shakti, which is also, you know what Bhairava has got a symbol of killing, is a big sword like thing. And also Ganesha's Parasha. And also Hanumanas, all Navasiddhis, which are going to destroy, are given to him. All Buddha's forgiveness and Mahavira's Ahimsa is going to turn upside down. All these 11 powers are going to come on top of us when we will be finished with Sahaja Yoga, when we will be absolutely sorted out and the last killing will be done by him. I wish it was just a killing. It is not going to be ordinary Hanana, like uh, even Devi has done. Because Devi has killed all these Rakshasas thousands of years back, but they are back in the seat again, all these Rakshasas. Now the problem is very different at the present moment, which you should try to understand. That in the olden days, till the Krishna's time, when he says that yada yada ahi dharma sar glanir bhavati bhati, These two words we must understand. To destroy the Duskrutam means the cruel people or the negative forces and to say the saints. Sambhavami, yuge, yuge, I'm going to come again and again. But the problem of the Kali Yuga is that there is no pure and simple person as a sadhu or as a rakshasa. So many Rakshasas have entered into your brains. You side with so many people who are wrong, who are doing wrong, who are doing all kinds of wrong things in the name of politics, in the name of religion, in the name of progress and education and all that. Once you are sided with them, then they are in your brain. They are within you. And when they are within you, how to destroy they are within you. You may be a good person, but you may be destroyed because of having them in your heads. So there is no hard and fast rule as to say who is a real negative and who is a real positive. Only the Sahaja Yoga is going to cleanse you and make you absolutely positive, positively good people and religious people. This is the only way because your Ankura, when it starts, giving you realization, you feel yourself, you feel yourself. And with that self, you know that you are yourself and not this mirage. You start enjoying that self. Once you start enjoying it, you give up all these things that make you compromise and make you a horribly mixed up person. All this confusion can go away. So it is essential that we should take to Sahaja Yoga in the most dedicated manner and redeem ourselves of our all wrongdoings and also others whom we know. And this is the only thing that we can give to our friends, relations, and all the world around. People invite others for dinners, have drinks, says that. What do you give them? Nothing. They will give presents in, on a birthday. They'll go around and give garlands and exchange good 
wishes and everything the, in london when there's a christmas day the cards piled up, pile up to such an extent that no letter can be sent for 10 days before christmas and where is christ on the day when christ is born they'll go in for a champagne such foolish people even somebody dies they'll go for a champagne champagne is their religion now and whiskey is their kundalini they cannot understand god how can they when they have made god according to their own conception of falsehood as a mother i have to warn you be careful do not play about with yourself do not go down but come up come up and come up i am here to help you i am here to work for you day and night that you know i work very hard for you i'll spare no efforts to help you and do everything that is possible to make you all right to pass this examination of last test but you have to cooperate with me and you have to go head long about it and devote most of your time for sahaj yoga and for imbibing all that is great and noble kalaki is a very big subject and uh, if you see the kalaki purana is such a big book of course lot of trash is also in there but when is the time coming if people say we'll say this is a living process when the work will be finished when we will see that there's no more chance of having any more people in this line kalaki will come down let us see how many come in but there is a limit also of that so i would request you to go out call your friends call your relations call your neighbors all of them tomorrow is the last day of my program here of navratri where we are going to have a little little felicitation from the mother <laughs> to me the greatest felicitations would be when this in this bombay i will find more people realize taking to sahaj yoga series and after coming to sahaj yoga not to indulge in back biting and small petty mindedness and getting angry with each other but being sensible and wise it is most surprising those who are supposed to be the cream of the nation the most sophisticated people are so petty minded and useless i have to tell you these things because of the immediate emergency that is coming forward before me and i am only praying that it should not be in bombay that it should start bombay had gone into the world if you remember the day when uh, rajesh uh, shah phoned me that mother what about rain what about rain what about rain i wouldn't answer him till he said mother i know you are angry with bombay people but still forgive them answer them and that is the night when you started getting all this rain next calamity beware of it i have to tell all bombay people every time i come back i find this kind of a nonsense of these sahajogis getting after one man somewhere and getting lost and the another thing is that bombay people are still most unaware of what is going to fall into them most unaware how they are made from amoeba to this stage what god has done for them and what they have to do for god it's a very very sad affair extremely sad for the whole of the country because people try to follow this bombay there are so many people who would like to follow an actor and an actress than to follow god this is the trouble with our superficial temperaments i have to say that we have tomorrow a very good program and also a book has been written that went by uh, gregor de caliber caliber matin who is a son of a baron and a, a swiss boy and when he came to me i could see clearly that he is a seeker so he was a gone case he was like a sneeze of any person absolutely a gone case but i could see in him that there's a big seeker within him and i had to work hard with him for a year to bring him around to his normal senses but when there is not even seeking within you and when you go that astray what is going to happen to you i don't know so be careful be very very careful today is the day of warning you because you have asked me to talk about kalaki 
he is placed on our forehead. When the Kalaki is, is caught up, the chakra of Kalaki is caught up, the whole of Buddha on top goes out of order. In the Kundalini awakening, we find that the Murdha is all out of order, it doesn't rise. The whole head becomes a block. Such people do not allow the Kundalini to rise above the, we can say, the Hamsa chakra. At the most, they might try to raise up to Agya, but the Kundalini falls down. Of course, one of the reasons, as I said, that if you uh, put your forehead before wrong gurus, also you suffer. But too much thinking also creates a problem on the right hand side here. And one of the uh, one of the aspects of Kalaki gets spot, and there is an imbalance created on this side. The whole forehead, if it is uh, full of lots of bumps, then one must know that the Kalaki chakra is out of order. If the Kalaki chakra is out of order, the person is about to go into some sort of a very bad calamity is a sign of a person who is going to get. When the Kalaki Chakra is caught up, all your fingers start burning. On the <clears throat> hands and on the palm, sometimes even in the body, you get terrible burning. A person's Kalaki Chakra catching means he might be down with a horrible disease like cancer, maybe leprosy, maybe any such diseases, or maybe that he is about to collapse into some sort of a calamity. So Kalaki Chakra must be kept all right in balance. At least there are 11 sub chakras of the Kalaki Chakra. And out of them, at least try to keep some of them alive so that others can be destroyed. But if all the chakras are ruined, then it is very difficult to give you realization. What is the thing one should do to keep your Kalaki all right? To keep your Kalaki all right, you must have that awe for God. If you do not have awe for God, if you are not afraid of God, if you are not afraid that if you do wrong, he is there with his wrath, and that he is a wrathful God, and that he is full of poison for us if we try to do anything wrong, if there is no fear of that. Not that it is to be hidden from me or from anybody else, but not you yourself know that you are doing wrong. If you are doing something wrong and you know in your hearts of hearts that I'm doing something wrong, please don't do it. Otherwise your Kalki will go out. When you have that awe for God and you know that God is all pervading, he is all powerful, he has powers to raise us to this state of higher being and also he has power to bestow all the blessings that he has. He is the most compassionate God, or we can say the most compassionate father that one can think of. But in the same way, he has a wrath. And that wrath, when it falls upon you, be very, very careful. As a mother, I have to warn, be careful about the wrath of your father. Because if he comes on you with that wrath, nobody can stop it. Nobody can stop it. And the compassion of mother also will not be listened because he may say that you have spoiled your children by giving them too much looseness. So I have to tell you that please don't do anything that is wrong and do not make me feel bad about it because for a mother it is very difficult to tell these things. It's very hard for a mother who has a tender heart and a kind heart for you to say all these things. But I have to request you that don't play about because your father is full of wrath and he can punish you if you do anything wrong. But if you do anything for him or for your own being, for in your self-realization, you will be placed in the highest position. Today, you may be the biggest millionaire. You may be the richest man. You may be the greatest political leader. You may be the prime minister and all that nonsense. In the presence of God, those who are dear to God will be placed at the highest positions and not all these worldly things which look so interesting and enchanting to you. The most important thing, where are you as far as God is concerned? That relation you must establish by first finding out yourself, your Atma through Sahaja Yoga and then relating yourself to that. May God bless you all. Now we
attention on heart chakra. We say Shri Durga Mata Chakdamba. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Durga Mata Chakdamba Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devye Namo Namaha Listen to Sri Narayani Stuti. Oh, Devi Prapannarti Hari Prasida, Prasida Matar Jagato Kilasya, Prasida Vishveshwari Pahi Vishwam, Tvamishwari Devi Characharasya, Adhara Bhuta Jagatas Vameka, Mahiswaru Penayatas Titasi, Apam Swarupa Stitayat Payaita, Dapya Yate, Kretsna Malangya Virye, Vampashna Vishakti Rananta Virya, Vishwasya Bijam Paramasimaya, Samohitan Devi Samasta Meta, Vampai Prasanna, Bubimukti Hetu, Vidya Samasta Stava Devi Bhedaha, Striya Samasta Sakala Jagatsu. Vayaikaya purita mamba yaitat, kate stutista via para paropti. Serva buta yada devi, Svarga mukti pradayini, Tvam stutas tuta ye kava, Bhavantu paramukta yaha. Serva sia buti rupena, Jana seridi samstiti, Svarga pavarga de devi. Narayani namustuti Kalakashtadi rupena Parinama pradayini Vishwasyo paratau shakti Narayani namustuti Serva mangala mangalye Shive servartha sadhike Sharan yetriambake gauri Narayani namustuti Srishti Shakti Bhute Sanatani Gunashraye Gunamaye Narayani Namustute Sharanagata Dinartha Paritrana Parayani Sarvasyarti Hare Devi Narayani Namustute Hausa Yukta Vimanaste Brahmani Rupadharini Kaushambaksharike Devi Narayani namustute, Trishula chandra hidhare, Mahavrushabhavahini, Maheshwari svarupena, Narayani namustute, Mayura kukkuta vrite, Mahashakti dhare naghe, Kaumari rupa samsthane, Narayani namustute, Shanka Chakra Gada Sharna Grihita Paramayudhe Prasida Vaishnavi Rupi Narayani Namustute Grihito Gramaha Chakre Daustro Dhritava Sundhari Varaha Rupi Nishive Narayani Namustute Nrusimva Rupi Nogrena Hantunda Ityan Krutodhyame Trailokya trana sahite, Narayani namustute, Kiritini maha vajre, Sahasrana yano jewelly, Brutra prana hare chaindri, Narayani namustute, Shiva duti svaru pena, Hatadaitya maha bali, Bora rupe maha rave, Narayani namustute. Daushtra karala vadane, Shiro mala vibhushane, Chamunde munda matane, Narayani namustute, Lakshmi lajje maha vidye, Shraddhe pushti svadhe druve, Maharatri maha vidye, Narayani namustute, Medhe saraswati vare, Bhuti Bhavra Vitamasi, 
नियते त्वं प्रसीदेशे नारायणि नमोस्तुते सर्वस्वरूपे सर्वेशे सर्वशक्ति समंदिते भये भ्यस्त्राहि नो देवी दुर्गे देवी नमोस्तुते एतत्ते वदनम् सौम्यम् लोचनत्रय भूषितम् पातुन सर्वभीति भ्या कात्यायनि नमोस्तुते ज्वाला कराल मत्युग्रमशेषा सुरसूदनम् त्रिशूलम् पातुनो भी तेर भद्रकाली नमोस्तुते इनस्ति दैत्यतेजाउसि स्वनेना कोर्यया जगत् सागंटा पातुनो देवी पापे ब्योनसुतानिव असुरास्रक्वसापंकचर्चितस्ते करोज्वलह शुभाय खड्गो भवतु चंडिके त्वामनतावयम् रोगा नशेशा नपहुंसि तुष्टा रुष्टा तुकामान सकला नभीष्टान त्वामाश्रिता नान नविपन्न राणाम त्वामाश्रिता या श्रयताम प्रयांति एतत्रतम यत कदनंत्वयाद्य धर्मद्विशां देवि महासुराणाम रूपेरनेकेर बहुधात्म मूर्तिम कृत्वाम्बिके तत प्रकरोति कान्या विद्या सुशास्त्रेशु विवेक दीपेश वाद्येशु वाक्येशु चकात्वदन्या ममत्वगर्ते ति महान्धकारे विप्रामयत्ये तदतीव विश्वम् रक्षाउसि यत्रो ग्रविशाश्चनागा यत्रारयो दस्यु बलानि यत्र दावानलो यत्र तथाब्धि मध्ये तत्रस्थितात्वम् परिपासि विश्वम् विश्वेश्वरित्वम् परिपासि विश्वम् विश्वात्मिका धारयसीति विश्वम् विश्वेश्वरंद्या भवति भवन्ति विश्वाश्रयाये त्वयि भक्ति नम्राह देवि प्रसीद परिपालयनोरि भीतेर नित्यम् यथा सुरवधा दधुनैव सद्यः आपानि सर्वजगतम् प्रशमम् नयाशु पातपाक जनिताउष्च महुपसर्गन प्रणतानाम् प्रसीदत्वम् देवि विश्वार्ति हारिनि त्रयलोक्यवासिनामि दे लोकानाम् वरदाभव ओम साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः इसे शिकाल के मंत्र ओम तमेव साक्षात श्री कालकी साक्षात श्री सहस्त्रारा स्वामीनी माताजी श्री मुक्षिप्रदायनी माताजी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः We pray to Shri Mataji. Thank you, Shri Mataji, for giving this joyous and invaluable knowledge. Without your grace, it wasn't ever possible. Thank you, Shri Mataji, for being our guru and give us right path to do Ananya Bhakti. Let's do collective bandhan. Happy Navratri, everyone. I wish you all to have a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you, everyone. Jai Shri Mataji.